Today, I bring to your attention the scientific evidences that makes Big Bang Theory inaccurate. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its remarkable infrared sensing instruments, has detected what scientists are calling universe breakers, six massive ancient galaxies. These galaxies have astounded astronomers due to their existence during a time when the universe was just 3% of its current age, defying previous assumptions about early galaxy formation. The unexpected aspect of these galaxies lies in their size. They are far larger than what was believed possible for galaxies at such an early stage after the Big Bang. Dr. Erica Nelson, of the University of Colorado Boulder, and her colleagues noticed these peculiar objects while sifting through images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Described as fuzzy dots, they appeared remarkably bright and red, which indicates their age in astronomical terms. According to current models, these galaxies should not have had sufficient time to form. The prevailing understanding, is that after a period of rapid expansion, known as the Dark Ages, the universe gradually cooled, down, allowing gas to condense and form the first stars and galaxies. However, the existence of these massive galaxies challenges the fundamental principles of cosmology. Scientists are now faced with the task of revisiting our understanding of early galaxy formation and re-evaluating the rules that govern the birth of galaxies. The implications of this discovery are profound. If confirmed, it suggests that the Dark Ages may not have been as dark as we once believed. It implies that star formation and the emergence of galaxies may have occurred far earlier in the history of the universe than previously thought. The sheer size and maturity of these galaxies, equivalent to our own Milky Way, present a puzzle that demands further investigation. Spectral images, which provide accurate distance information and better estimates of mass, are currently being obtained to shed further light on this captivating phenomenon. Only with comprehensive research can we determine the true nature of these universe-breaking galaxies and understand the implications they hold for our understanding of the cosmos. The scientific evidence against the Big Bang theory has been mounting, contradicting its predictions and raising significant doubts about its validity. Let us begin with the first point, the observation of light elements, namely lithium and helium. According to the Big Bang theory, the superhot explosion that initiated the universe would have generated a certain amount of lithium and a large quantity of helium. However, as astronomers have observed older and older stars, they have noticed a decline in the amount of lithium present. In fact, in the oldest stars, the level of lithium is less than one-tenth of what was predicted. Similarly, the amount of helium observed in the oldest stars is also significantly lower than the predicted values. On the contrary, well understood fusion processes in stars and reactions initiated by cosmic rays have accurately predicted the correct amounts of these light elements. Moving on to the second point, antimatter-matter annihilation. The Big Bang theory predicts that since the intense radiation of the Big Bang would have produced matter and antimatter in equal amounts, the mutual annihilation of particle-antiparticle pairs would have significantly reduced the surviving matter density. However, the observed matter density in the universe is at least 10 billion times higher than the Big Bang prediction. In an attempt to reconcile this vast gap, Big Bang theorists proposed an unknown asymmetry between matter and antimatter, which would lead to the production of more matter. Yet, this hypothetical imbalance has never been observed in laboratory experiments. Moreover, the predicted consequence of this imbalance, the decay of the proton, has been contradicted by large-scale experiments, which show no evidence of such decay at all. Next, let us consider the surface brightness of objects in an expanding universe. The Big Bang theory predicts that objects at high redshift would appear larger and dimmer due to an optical illusion caused by the expansion. However, based on observations of thousands of galaxies, the surface brightness is completely constant with distance, which aligns with a universe that is not expanding. In response to this observation, 
Big Bang theorists proposed that galaxies were much smaller in the distant past and have grown significantly. However, this fix has also been contradicted by observations, which show that there have not been enough galaxy mergers to account for the required growth rates. Additionally, the hypothesized ultra-small galaxies would need to have more mass in stars than their total mass, which is an obvious impossibility. Let us now turn our attention to the prediction of the Big Bang theory regarding the formation of structures in the universe. According to the theory, the universe starts off completely smooth and homogeneous, and structures form gradually over time. However, as telescopes have peered deeper into space, they have discovered colossal structures of galaxies that are too large to have formed within the time since the Big Bang. This observation challenges the very core of the Big Bang theory's predictions. Another significant piece of evidence against the Big Bang theory is related to the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, and its anisotropies. The initial prediction was that the CMB is a smooth relic of the initial radiation of the Big Bang. However, the observed CMB is smooth on such large scales that there would not have been enough time for different regions of the sky to reach equilibrium or exchange energy with each other at the speed of light, as the Big Bang theory suggests. To address this discrepancy, Big Bang theorists introduced the concept of inflation, an unknown force that supposedly caused an exponential expansion of the universe, smoothing out any asymmet. Now let us focus on the steady state theory. In the mid 20th century, a group of audacious scientists proposed the steady state theory, which posits that the universe has always existed and continuously generates matter to maintain a constant density. However, the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in 1965 dealt a severe blow to this theory, as the steady state model could not explain this pervasive radiation. The newfound evidence offered strong support for the Big Bang theory, intensifying the scientific debate. Another issue concerning the Big Bang theory is the horizon problem, an imbalance in thermal contact. How could the cosmic microwave background radiation appear uniformly across the sky if different regions of space were not in thermal contact with each other? While proponents of the Big Bang theory invoke cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion in the universe's early stages, to reconcile this issue, skeptics contend that the uniformity could signify an alternative explanation yet to be unveiled. Another intriguing enigma arises when examining the apparent imbalance between matter and antimatter in the universe. According to the Big Bang theory, equal amounts of matter and antimatter should have been produced during the initial stages. However, we observe a universe overwhelmingly dominated by matter. While scientists propose various explanations, such as violations of certain symmetries in particle physics, the question of this matter-antimatter asymmetry remains a valid challenge to the Big Bang theory. In the realm of cosmological possibilities, alternative models have emerged, offering distinct perspectives on the origin and evolution of the universe. The cyclic model presents a tantalizing idea, suggesting that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction, avoiding the need for a singular Big Bang event. Yet, these alternative cosmologies encounter their own hurdles and have yet to garner widespread acceptance in the scientific community. Leaving us with tantalizing but unproven possibilities. Opponents of the Big Bang theory assert that the universe remains static and unchanging, contrary to the theory's proposal of an expanding one. They argue that the observed redshift of galaxies, traditionally attributed to an expanding universe, could be explained by alternative phenomena such as tired light or intrinsic properties of light. This dissenting perspective challenges the very foundation upon which the Big Bang theory rests. Skeptics question the prevailing interpretation of the cosmic microwave background radiation as residual heat from the Big Bang. They propose alternative explanations, speculating that radiation from distant stars or interstellar dust could account for the observed radiation patterns. This dissent invites us to re-examine our understanding of this fundamental piece of evidence and consider other plausible interpretations.
Critics argue that the evidence supporting the Big Bang theory remains incomplete or flawed. They highlight certain observations, such as the absence of expected gravitational waves or the dearth of observed primordial black holes, which seemingly contradict the predictions of the theory. These missing pieces of the puzzle raise profound questions and underscore the necessity for continued exploration and refinement of our understanding of the universe's origins. The Big Bang Theory, while widely accepted in the scientific community, is not without its challenges. The steady state theory, the horizon problem, the matter-antimatter asymmetry, alternative cosmologies, the concept of a static universe, the interpretation of cosmic microwave background radiation, and the existence of missing observations all contribute to the ongoing discourse surrounding the accuracy of the Big Bang Theory. Ultimately, the resolution of these debates lies in the acquisition of new evidence and the development of advanced technologies that will enable us to probe the deepest mysteries of the cosmos. Until then, the allure of the unknown beckons, urging us to delve deeper into the complexities of our universe and challenge our preconceived notions. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing.